I've shed my tears. Every heart, every heart is not a gentle one. Why can't I? I can never share my loneliness. Every heart doesn't know what to say or what to do. Was afraid of darkness, cause I felt like I was left alone. So I prayed for help to a distant million stars. Round and round the planets revolve around the sun, and they always seek after love and peace forevermore. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom, a kingdom called Suntrust, a beautiful, magical, wondrous kingdom. And in that kingdom, there were two rulers, a noble king and an elegant queen. On top of that, the queen had just had a baby, a beautiful baby girl. The baby's name was Fluttershy. Princess Fluttershy, to be exact. The kingdom was always a relatively peaceful land, though sometimes creatures from the enchanted forest would come and cause a disturbance. These creatures were especially troublesome, as they always returned stronger after losing a battle. The only thing keeping them from overtaking the kingdom is the Royal Magic Council. A powerful group of unicorns dedicated to keeping the peace of Suntrust. But other than that, everything was peaceful and perfect. That is, until one fateful day. So to improve society, I propose we extract the magic from the forest to improve our own. That seems a little risky, doesn't it? Maybe a little. But don't you think it would be worth it? I suppose it's worth a shot. Society does seem to be going downhill lately because of low food supply from random creatures coming in from the forest. Yes, if we had more powerful magic, we'd be able to ward off the creatures that are trying to invade this land. And on top of that, it would enable us to grow our crops even faster. Our team of unicorns are more than capable of handling the job. What do you think? I definitely think it's worth a try. In that case, we give you permission to move forward with the plan. Thank you, your majesties. You won't be disappointed. All right, is everybody ready? Yes, we're all set. Although, are you sure this is a good idea? To be completely honest, I'm not sure if this will work. But we have to try. If we don't, the creatures of the forest will just keep coming back. We'll be overtaken someday if we don't do something about it. I guess you're right. There's no time to waste. Let's begin the spell. It's not working! Keep trying. I can't hold it! What happened? The spell seems to be more difficult than what we're used to. And it seems one of our members ran off in all that chaos. What was that? Everyone, back to the castle. We need to alert the guards of an aggravated creature of the forest. <gasps> Go back to where you belong! Oh no! 
Your Majesties, a creature from the forest is on its way to the castle. And it seems much more powerful than others we've seen before. Quick, go be with our child. What about you? I'll be all right. What's the creature after? I'm not sure. He seems angry. Perhaps he is after the amulet. <laughs> Don't let him get to the queen and princess. Twenty-one years later, it's the Kingdom's Independence Day. The day they defeated the beast that now remains in the enchanted forest and won back peace. But it's also the day that someone very special, someone very dear to everyone's hearts, lost their life. I see you've dressed up for the occasion. You look lovely. Oh, thank you, Father. I know you're sad about your mother, but... It's just, I never really knew her. But it doesn't feel right without her. She would have been so proud of the pony you've become. You think so? She was a lot like you. Kind, gentle, caring. <sighs> she wasn't the bravest pony, but when it came down to it, she risked everything just to save you. I just wish things could have been different. I know. Me too. But I'm glad to have you here at least. I wish I could be as brave as Mom was. <laughs> If you ever needed to be, I know you could. You really think so, huh? I know so. Anyway, I have some duties to attend to. Oh, um, actually, Father, I wanted to ask, since it's a holiday and a very special day, I was just thinking, maybe I could go into town for the day? Since they're having a big celebration and all. <sighs> I promise I'll be careful, please, Father. <sighs> Alright. But you have to bring a guard with you. Oh, and Twilight, too. If I must. Alright. Thank you, Father. Look, it's the princess! Whoa, you're right! Princess! Your Highness! I can't believe it's the princess! Keep your distance, ponies! You okay, Fluttershy? Oh, um, yes. It it's just, I wish I didn't need a guard walking me around. Rainbow Dash is a good friend and all, it's just... You'd rather have your own freedom? Yes. I don't mind that you're with me, of course. I think of you more as a friend than a handmaiden. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Come on, this way. Hey, you guys!
I think we lost her for now. Here, put this on for a while. Ponies won't recognize you as easily. Oh, thank you so much, Twilight. I owe you one. No need. As you said before, you think of me as a friend, so I think of you as one too. So, consider this me being a good friend. Wow, this is so exciting! Look at all the decorations, they're so beautiful. What's that? It's a singing performance. Ponies like to sing and perform a lot around here. That song... So sorry, excuse me. Exactly will you see if you look past the shroud Thanks to the forest boundary There's no need to dismay Yet there's one simple mystery We think about all day Hey! Have you heard? There's a secret here in Sun Trust Have you heard what they're saying of this feast? Although the queen did not survive inside our heart She's still alive But what's behind the border? Will the answer be released? It's a secret, a legend Something whispered in an alleyway or through a crack It's a rumor that's part of our history Deep within the darkness in the enchanted forest lies A demon who can any time attack I bet he's large and scary with teeth so sharp and mauled With just one single glance at him you'd be hot we're safe inside our borders, and he will be okay. The thought of such a monster makes you want to run away. It's the secret, the legend, the mystery. The story of my mother, which my father hides. I'm so curious and troubled by this history. I wish that I could know just what took place that fateful day. Just think of all the tales that could be weaved. What's this troubling secret that they simply will not say? The forest and the beast, the queen and king. When shall we hear? When shall we hear the secrets out? The secrets out. So in Sanchez, they'll have some more to sing about. Yes! Have you heard? There's a secret here in Sun Trust. Have you heard what they're saying of the beast? Hey! 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 Have you heard? There's a secret here in Sun Trust. Have you heard? So then, what do you suppose? A fascinating mystery, the root of all our history. Inside the forest Alive or dead Who knows? Oh, that was wonderful. I've never heard anything like it. Why, thank you. I don't think I've seen you around here before. What's your name? My name is Fluttershy. Why, that's the name of our princess. You wouldn't happen to be her, would you? Oh, oh uh, um, well... <laughs> it's okay. I won't tell anyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching my performance. You wouldn't happen to know more information about that song, would you? I'm afraid not. That song is the only perspective we have. The only ponies that would know about that day are the ones who lived it. I... I see. I wish you luck in finding out more information, though. I need to take my leave now. Oh, thank you. Goodbye.
There really isn't that much I know about that day. I wish I could learn more. It seems like a sensitive topic to my father, but maybe Twilight wouldn't mind talking about it. Come on. Rainbow Dash will probably be around here soon. We should keep moving. Uh, oh, right. So, um, I was wondering, do you know much of that day? That day? You mean the day your mother passed? Yes, I've always wanted to know, but that song, it just got me more curious. Twilight? Oh, sorry. I don't remember much about it. It all happened so fast. I see. Well, that's alright, don't worry about it. Oh, look Twilight! A forest! Let's go! I bet there's a lot of animals in there we can go see. Yeah, you don't want to go in there. No pony has ever gone in. Wait, why not? Didn't your father ever tell you about it? What do you mean? Well, it's probably not my business to tell you, but... Let's just say you shouldn't go in there. There are certainly creatures in there to see, but... Wait. Has your father not told you how your mother passed away? He never really told me the whole story. I just thought it upset him, so I never really asked. All I know is there's an enchanted forest, a beast lives in it, and attacked the castle. But he said it happened out of the blue. He doesn't know what caused it, and that beast is the one who... Well attacked my mother and... Your father said that, huh? Yes. Did he leave stuff out? He might have left a few things out, but then again, I don't remember too much about it myself. So I guess that's the Enchanted Forest? I didn't know it was so close to the kingdom. Yes, most ponies around here know about its dangers. Why would you even want to go in there in the first place? Well, I wouldn't want to go in alone, of course. But if we could gather a bunch of the guards, we could explore and could get more information on the place, right? If there is anything bad in there, and if we get more information, we can try reasoning with it, or maybe we can- Fluttershy, we've tried everything we can, and going in is out of the question. Who knows what else is in there? We don't want to risk it. Don't you remember the song? I'll just go to the border. Now that I know it's dangerous, I won't go any further. Princess. There's no reason to investigate. There's a magical barrier around that forest, so nothing can get in or out except us ponies. But what if there are creatures in there in danger because of the beast? They'll die! It's been like that for a long time. I'm sure they're used to it. Used to what? Dying? There's probably tons of animals going extinct in there. And there's probably a lot more that are already. Fluttershy, I know how much you love woodland creatures, but... We can't do anything unless a king gives orders to, and I'm certain he never will. So we just have to forget about it. Now, come on. Beautiful painting, isn't it? Yes, it's lovely. I knew your mother very well. She was a lot like you. Kind, gentle, a little shy. <laughs> so I've heard. It must be even harder for you. Maybe. Although she wasn't my mother, she did feel like one. Since my father was a royal guard back then. I spent a lot of time with her when I was a filly. I'm glad you had such nice times with her. Wow, you've been alive for so long already. And you're still young for an alicorn. <laughs> yes. Alicorn years are different from regular pony years. I guess I am quite lucky. There have only been four known alicorns. They are a very rare kind indeed. Alicorns are also known to be more powerful than regular unicorns, which is why I decided to be by your side. Well, that and being your friend, of course. <laughs> Although, I'm not as strong as the other alicorns. My strength seems to falter when I need it. Most, especially when... <sighs> when what? Oh, nothing. Look guys! Fresh apple cider! We should try some! That sounds great. What about you, Fluttershy? 
I think that sounds perfect. Oh, Mom, if only you were here, you'd probably know just what to tell me. I wish you could tell me what to do. Fluttershy? Oh, Moonstone, what are you doing up? I just wanted to see you. You are one of my friends, after all. And, well, fiancé. Right. Oh, come on, Flutters. The engagement isn't that bad, is it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you. Just not in that way. I don't want to marry one of my best friends I've known for most of my life. If I do marry, I want it to be for love. Well, your birthday is coming up, and you know the rules. A princess has to be married by her 21st birthday. And since you haven't found anyone yet, your father chose me for you. I don't really think it's all that bad. In fact, I don't mind at all. I'm flattered you feel that way, Moonstone. But I'm just not ready for marriage, even with you. Oh, I understand. But we really don't have much of a choice. Unless you choose some rando off the street. <laughs> right. So, what are you doing up? I guess today was just... overwhelming? I had a lot of fun, but I also thought about my mom a lot, and... I also keep thinking about that enchanted forest I don't know too much about. Oh, so you know about it? I do now. I wanted to investigate it. There might be animals, or maybe even other creatures in danger over there. And I've just been standing here my whole life. I feel like there's a whole side to the story that I'm missing. I just want to make peace for everyone. Who told you you can't? Well, Twilight and my father. Your father told you directly not to go in? Well, no, but... Then why don't you just go? Why don't you have to listen to Twilight? Uh, I... You're the boss of her, after all. It's not the other way around. I guess you do have a point. I don't think there's too much harm in doing so. But guess it's your decision, really. And if you do end up going, be careful. I do worry about you. Right. What would you do, Mom? I wish that you were here to hold me close I feel so lost without you by my side The emptiness you've left is weighing on my heart I'm dedicating every day to you You were so wise and everything felt clear without you here I just don't know where I should start Why must we be apart? She will come of age here in this nation What am I meant to do? Who could replace you? She's just so naive, I grow impatient Her curiosity will be the death of me But you'd show us all the way Please stay, please stay Yeah, you'd show us all the way Please stay, please stay Since I am lost, so lost You are the cost I can never find the words I'm looking for There is so much more you could have done Oh, I would get you back at any cost What's lost without you here? I just don't know where I should start why must we be apart? Oh, without you around Oh, without her around I 
swear that I'll be around for you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million mistakes to know exactly just what to do. To come of age here in this nation, what am I meant to do? Who could replace you? I just miss you and I grow impatient Where am I supposed to be? I know you have the key and you'd show us all the way Please stay, please stay Yeah, you'd show us all the way Please stay I wish I had my mother's guidance, but Moonstone is right. I can make my own decisions. I'm sure that's what mom would have said. My mom would want me to do what I feel is right. And it's not like it'll be super dangerous or anything either. There's a magical barrier around the forest. I'll just have to make sure I'm back by sunrise. Mom, I hope this is the right decision. Still not all that confident with your flying, huh? Yeah. Wait, what are you doing here? You think I'm just gonna send you off alone into the most dangerous place we know in the dead of night? Well, I was hoping you would. You're the one who told me to go in the first place. I guess I'm being a little protective. It's just that you're really important to me. Everyone seems a bit protective of me these days. Look, I'm not going to ask to come with you because I know this is something you want to do on your own. But it would give me peace of mind if you would accept this. What's this? All you have to do is just tap the stone with your hoof and it will alert me. Use it if you're in danger. Thank you, Moonstone. And thank you for understanding my position. You're... you're really important to me, too. I can't seem to see very far inside. Oh, goodness! How cute! What? There should be a barrier here. Where is it? This isn't good. If there's no barrier, dangerous creatures could escape. Although, I don't see anything. If there were any dangerous creatures, I'm sure they would have come out by now. So maybe it's not so dangerous? I should investigate a bit. I won't go in too far. I have to know what's happening. You can do this, Fluttershy. You need to find out what's going on here. <coughs> Ouch. Well, that was graceful. It's so dark. I can hardly see anything. I'm not sure where I am. I wish I had brought a lantern. I don't seem to see or hear any creatures around, although I can't seem to see much of anything. What is that?
Is this fire? Purple fire? I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure Snow Lily would get a kick out of this. I wonder if someone lives here. I don't see anyone. It seems like a normal hut. Thank you. 